Okay, so to illustrate the formulas that we have discussed, let us consider this example. We find the values of the six trigonometric functions of the angle theta in standard position if the point P with coordinates 4, 3 is on the terminal side of theta. Okay, so let us look at the angle. So what does the angle look like? So the point that has been intersected by the terminal side is the point 4, 3. So it is on the uh, x is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then y is 3. So 1, 2, 3. Okay, assuming this is the point. Okay. So our angle in standard position is okay, assuming This is okay. So, this is our angle. Okay, so this is the angle theta. Okay, we can look at this. This is the point P with coordinates 4, 3. Okay, just like what we discussed. So, we can actually create a triangle. So, this side is 4, this side is 3. And this is R. Okay, so we can actually compute for the value of R. R equals the square root of. Okay, so x squared. So this is four squared plus three squared. Okay, so R equals the square root of. Okay, four squared is sixteen, and then three squared is nine. 16 plus 9 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. Okay, so R is 5. Remember, R is always positive. The hypotenuse, since we are solving for the distance, R is always positive. Okay, so R cannot be negative. Okay, so now we have the values of X, Y, and R. So say the X is 4 y is 3 so we can actually compute for the six trigonometric functions of the angle theta okay so sine of theta is equal to okay sine of theta is y over r so y is 3 r is 5 okay so 3 over 5 cosine of theta is x over r so that is 4 over 5 then tangent of theta is y over x so that is 3 over 4 y over x okay and then the reciprocals cosecant of theta is equal to 5 over 3 and then second of theta is 5 over 4 and then cotangent of theta is 4 over 3. So these are the six trigonometric functions of the angle